Hey, so um, you had a question about how do I actually upload a photo from Bubble to an external API. Uh, in this case, that external API is uh, Xano. So I'm not going to go through um, every single step, but I'll kind of show you high level uh, real quick. And we're starting in Xano here. I set up a very simple uh, API endpoint. It's just posting to this table called merchant where I have this file resource input, um, not the image input, but the file resource input that allows us to take a file, an image URL or a base 64 encoded file. Um, then I'm doing the create image from file function, storing that as var one. And then I'm just adding var one into um, my image data type field. Okay. So I took this endpoint URL. Um, let's come to bubble now. And in the API connector, I pasted in that URL. I'm using it as an action. Um, I took the input and I just put in a, um, a uh, example image URL. So just get an image URL to actually initialize the call. Um, and I can just show you real quick what that looks like. Um, and I have a response right now. You might not have a response for when you're adding a record, but that's okay. Um, okay, now that we've done that, let me go to the actual design. Um, so I dragged over a, a picture uploader right here, um, and then a submit button um, to actually uh, submit it. You might actually um, do that on uh, when the image is uploaded, but uh, I always like submit buttons. And then I'm displaying the uh, picture uploader's value here, and I'll show you why um, when I actually go ahead and demo this. So I just have a text field here. You won't need to do this. I just want to do this for the demo's um, purposes, but picture a uploader value. Um, but when we go to the submit button's workflow, if I go start edit workflow, uh, so when that button is submitted on the click, um, I'll go ahead and build what I have in step one right here. Uh, we'll go to plugins and then we'll be able to find that API uh, that's posting or uploading that photo, right? Uh, so the body here, uh, what we want to do actually is we want to first type in HTTP S and then colon. Okay. And you'll see why when I actually uh, display the value of the picture uploader. Okay. Um, so, and now I'll insert dynamic data. I'll do the picture uploader's value. Okay, so it should look like that, HTTPS colon, and that's all we need. Uh, so now when I go to preview this, and this actually opened up in a different uh, window. So now I'm gonna drag it here. So I actually click to upload an image And let's go ahead. I'll grab this one of a pizza here. Um, so now that I'm displaying the value of the picture uploader, you can see we don't get the complete URL from Bubble. That's why I needed to uh, prepend or prepend rather um, that HTTPS colon um, because the full URL, if I just copy this and open this in a new tab, um, you can see that this file cannot be accessed, okay? Um, so what we actually need is HTTPS, colon, and then that slash. And I don't think Loom uh, followed me um, to that window. So let me go ahead and just do that again. So here's the image. Oh, here's the value of the picture uploader and your file could not be processed. So we actually need to do that HTTPS semicolon and then go ahead and that's our picture. Uh, not sure if that all got in the video, I hope it did. Um, but anyways, now you can see that. So when I go ahead and actually hit submit and I don't need to debug this, um, you can see now if we jump back to Xano, we should have a uh, slice of pizza in our database. So 
Let me just jump there real quick. And here is our pizza. I uploaded that twice, I guess. So I initially hit submit. Um, and then I went ahead and did it again. So that's how you would upload uh, an image from Bubble to an external source or API, in this case, uh, being Xano.